I'm Mummy. I'm Dish. I'm Maida. I'm Dishan. And today we are going to talk about our trip to the Museum of London. The Museum of London was one of my favourite trips of the ones that we've done so far. The reason being is because it brought back so many memories and it was so fascinating to see that if the things that we used to use every day have become history, it shows a movement in time and I felt really good seeing all these things. As you enter the Museum of London, there is a wall for his hashtag Beasts of London and the kids had a lot of fun with that, just playing and making shapes of the animals. On the, I would say top floor, but it's actually on the same level as the entrance, is, as you can see, a museum. The kids were able to look, touch, discover and really get involved in the history of London. Yes, from medieval, medieval times. Does it burn? Yeah. So as you move downstairs, there is another exhibition which is which just blew me away it's so amazing to see and you literally feel like you are back in the 1970s 80s 90s even 2000 they have something to do with the olympics 2012 it says this item can be touched so you can touch their trainers that they used to wear in the 1980s i was born in 1980 not 1980, but 1980. Yeah. Oh, isn't it? Let's do a quick round, once around. Dr. Martin Boots, 1970s. Who remembers those? They are so cool. I would literally rock Dr. Martin's now. How much do you think a pair of Dr. Martin boots would cost now? This section really reminded me of my sister's. Platform shoe, 1970s. Those clothes are amazing. Look at the little dolly in the corner with the red shoes. Just seeing the Olympics 
in the museum made me think that doesn't feel like history it wasn't that long ago but actually time is passing and it makes me excited about the future the museum of london was such a good visit Bobby on the beat, is that what they used to say back in the day? The old policeman hat, I remember that too. I remember it on shows like The Bill. Here is a newspaper article, I believe. So let me know if it's something that you remember, and what it's about. Heathrow Airport trolley, how does that look? That looks so old and rusty. <laughs> you know, in the in the most polite way possible. But that's what they used to look like. I'm not actually sure what the thing on the left is, but I'm guessing a typewriter. I need to zoom in a little bit to see if it is a typewriter because the typewriters that I remember were not that fancy. That's, an, that's actually a fancy typewriter. Is that a TV? <laughs> I mean, how far have we come from... Is that 10 inches? Maybe smaller. To 50 inches, 100 inches, you know. Now we've got projector TVs, project it on your biggest wall. There was a section where they had made what the streets used to look like and you'll see the shops, the fish shop, is that a post office? The fishermen's inn, you know, they even made little lights in the houses. Th these, these houses were in a little cabinet so they're really really tiny, not very tiny but obviously not they're not life-size houses here we have the kids playing with old school games this made me really excited as well because some of them i do remember and to think again how things have evolved Changing London. Careful, don't go in. There's a taxi, that's an old taxi. I don't know, it might be on the other side. Let's go on the other side and see if it if we find it. Yeah. Wow, look. They'll just use these to bake their cakes. Amazing. It's very heavy duty. That don't look like something you can pick up from the pound shop, I tell you that. Wow. Probably our grandmas might remember these. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that these were in everybody's households. People's city. So this is what the city used to look like. There's a section where you walk through, almost as if you're walking down the road at 8 p.m. at night. The taxi was really great. This is what taxis used to look like. 
who remembers telephone boxes I remember telephone boxes and me and my sister was having a conversation quite recently about what the telephone box means to us Londoners she was telling me a little bit about that you used to be able to put 2p in a phone box and make a call and a phone box was the place to be you know you'd meet people at the phone box and you know, you'd be in the phone box and be on the phone and say oh, I've got to go now because there's a queue behind me of people waiting to use the phone box I do remember the phone box I remember being on the phone for a very long time sometimes calling someone putting the phone down and waiting to see if they call back I remember setting specific times call me on that number in an hour and i'll pick up and then you would go down and it would ring and it would be for you but actually anyone on that street or anyone walking past the phone box that phone call could have been for them <laughs> or you know could have answered that call i really had a great time talking to my sister about it there's the traffic light the traffic light with the black and white bottom and that's what they used to look like I remember seeing those on shows on TV shows look at that traffic light oh my. I can't really see because it's quite dark in here I can see brilliantly but not really on the So here they had a, a setup of what a brasserie would look like and some old coins. I don't recognise some of those coins. I don't recognise most of those coins. Does anyone recognise those coins? What are they? How much? What could you get with those coins? There was. They were in, indented into the table so you couldn't take them out. 1939, wow. Mm. Oh. See the coins, the different coins. Why, why can't they come off? No, it's for us to see. This is what the museum is like. So if you're in London, you should visit the Museum of London because you'll have a really good time. The kids had a great time. What I found is that sometimes in bringing the kids to places, actually, I can enjoy it just as much as they do. And so can you. If you go down to the Museum of London, let me know. Send me a message. Let me know how your experience was because mine was amazing and I'm quite looking forward to going again. So this one, we actually went, I would say, three months ago. It was, yeah, it was April half term. April 2019 so um, I would definitely go again it was so exciting and very emotional it hit an emotional nerve of showing me that about movement and time you know time doesn't wait for anyone and evolution you know it's okay to evolve. I think it's really important to evolve as a person because the world is going to evolve around you anyway. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Please press the button below, subscribe, like, comment, and we will see you later. Say bye. Bye. Bye.